DX2527. In my old kind of favorite radio. Some nice features on this radio. Pop back, works on sideband, but it get to you guys. Maybe not. Run to, run to. It's got a pretty good talk back on a side bear. I'm just working this magnum out here. This one's not hooked up, but. Uh... But you don't want to use this, um, the channel selector, because those do wear out, and the up and down buttons, you don't want to use these up and down buttons, because those wear out, I had to change those, got a good deal on this radio. Had a few issues. Channel changer, it would skip all over the place, keep running. So I had to change that out. I put a 2950 selector in there. It's a little bit different, but it works. You can't really put the big knob, channel changer knob, on there with this 2950 because it's uh, the shaft is too short. But. So I use the up and down on the mic, and that way you don't wear out your channel selector and your up and down buttons. That's one of the things that wear out on these old radios. This is a pretty rare one here, because it has the talk back in it for sideband and AM. 2995, they don't come with it. The 90... DX comes with it. The 90 does not come with it. Turbo doesn't come with it. So this is a fairly rare radio. One of my favorites. It's got a real hot receiver on it. I get the RF gain shut off. And it still picks up great. I'll turn the RF up. It brings all that noise in too. I just keep the RF gain turned back. It's got a few issues with the side man still. A little bit off. And the 
receive. And the upper side, man, I can't get in this way up. So if somebody has the same issues and knows what it is, they hit me up. What's kind of neat is uh, if I turn the RF up, then I'll get signal on the. So the Italia And again, I'm just working this little magnum mount antenna. This one's not hooked up, but that one is. And that's a kind of a rare one. It's a trend. in Italy European stations come in the, the morning time over here in Ohio Alright, Tubers. Peace.